hey guys and welcome back to another video so in today's video i'll be demonstrating you how you can set up your own rest api infrastructure using mockable.io so over here you are looking uh, to the website so in this video i'll be demonstrating you from point a to point b how you can set up your own rest api or an endpoint using mockable.io so uh, mockable, uh, mockable is uh, somewhat like uh, Amazon's API gateway service uh, where it provides an entire infrastructure to build uh, API endpoints. So if you're familiar with REST APIs, uh, I'll just give you a brief introduction of what is REST and how REST API works actually. So REST APIs uh, stand stands for Representational State Transfer and uh, a set of rules uh, that basically tells you that this is an endpoint where you can get a particular set of data so basically it in, it involves a json format json formatted data uh, whenever you uh, give a uh, hit to a url endpoint uh, you get a response so uh, there can it can be a get request a post request an update request or an delete request so this is a basic uh, from this, this was just a basic information about rest api and how it works uh, i'll just put this uh, uh, blog over here in the description below so you can uh, find out more about it and uh, uh, when it comes to building rest apis uh, one of the most reliable service out there is amazon's api gateway service uh, it will provide you to create rest as well as soap uh, services and uh, even uh, mockable.io provides you to create a soap as well as a rest api infrastructure so uh, with the help of uh, mockable.io you can create a rest api endpoint for this video we are going to uh, try out get request not the post and or the update or delete only the get request so for that uh, you need a json data json formatted data which I, which i already have and uh, ready to go with it so i'll just provide the data that is the json data it consists of four files uh, which i'll just show you here So it, it consists of uh, four files that is about json uh, photo json header json and home json so basically i just open it and show you how the data looks so this is how the data actually looks you can create your own data as well it is not something particular about it you can go and create your own data and feed it to the mockable.io infrastructure right so this is about this footer header and this is home mm, i have chosen this particular format because in future videos i'll be using this uh, data as well as the api endpoint that is the endpoint which will be which will uh, which will be available over here uh, for a get request so we'll be using this data i'll provide this uh, in the description below go ahead and download it and you can also modify this based on your own requirement so this is the data and uh, let's uh, get started with setting up mockable.io so with the free tire service uh, you can only do a set of uh, operations uh, which are restricted and you don't get access to the entire paid service so just uh, you can try out for the free tire service i am already i have already created an account you can sign up with any of these options over here so uh 
uh, after signing up uh, you will get an option of uh, either ch choosing uh, a SOAP infrastructure or a REST API infrastructure please do select the SOAP uh, sorry the uh, REST API infrastructure and after setting up that you will get a, uh, a display or a dashboard somewhat like this right so it will consist of a domain tab and a base URL as you can see over here this is your base URL for your particular ID or an account so for my account I have this base URL and with this base URL you can create multiple endpoints uh, it can be either post get or uh, update or delete so currently there are no mocks and there are no uh, endpoints running so let's create four routes which are basically get request so we'll click on to the option manage and see as you can see over here you can uh, create rest as well as soap infrastructure so for now we are going to select the rest which is already selected and let's create a rest mock over here so as you can see this is the base URL which you get uh, as a default URL for your account particularly and uh, uh, we'll be creating one endpoint which is for the header JSON data so for header we'll just uh, give a suitable name header and it is going to be a get request then if uh, uh, your URL consists of a API or any secret credentials you can definitely uh, put a key value where you can type in API key and the uh, uh, API credential but for uh, demonstration we don't need one but for higher end applications you definitely need to have a header so for now uh, we'll just uh, name it as header which is uh, a get request status response okay which is default and we'll be selecting json response and UPF rest all is clear right so over here we have our response body so whenever you hit this url which you will be getting in a minute whenever you hit that specific url you will get a response that is a json body which i'm which I've showed you over here, right? This response you'll get. So let's feed this entire, let's copy this entire thing at a JSON and paste it over here. Make sure you don't have any errors. Once you are done with that, you can either provide a display name or just leave it because it's optional and uh, save it. So as you can see your mock is successfully created but it is stopped it is not uh, active yet so this one is created now let's create the rest three <coughs> now let's create the footer part which will be same as the get request okay application json let's copy the footer data and paste it over here save and let's go back to the dashboard and create for the home route and uh, let's uh, copy the home data and uh, save it let's finish the last one which is the about data get and uh, the home and the about are almost similar okay so we are done with uh, creating outs So here you can see four routes that is the about, footer, header and home. It is not working yet. 
once you click on start mock you will see that we have enabled the routes and uh, once you're done with it you can either go to the route and you can copy this entire URL copy and let's see whether it works or not so it is working right so this is your endpoint where you can get the data of the about route right so, so this is your data let's uh, move on and see what is the footer route so let's just change photo over here and you can see the so as you can see this is your footer routes so your routes are being enabled have been enabled right once if you make it stop you can't access it I'll just show you see uh, no mock found you need to have your route enabled or the green signal for it right so uh, we are done with the uh, routes and uh, you can either test it using uh, uh, pointing it to a tab like this where you can see your response you can see a JSON object with some description uh, image with the URL and uh, heading right uh, why we have created so specific data uh, because uh, with the help of this uh, URL endpoints we are going to build a static website using Express.js and uh, Nunjux so in the future video I'll be using this same endpoints with the same data uh, well uh, with this data and you'll see a static website created using those endpoints that is the uh, home about footer header right so with this header footer route we'll be creating our header and footer section for the app or the web app and for the uh, home and about route we'll be using these two endpoints so I'll just show you uh, what the app is going to look like so you'll get a basic idea how we are going to use this endpoints to create an express app in Node.js and Nunjux templating, right? So I'll just show you. So I've opened up VS Code and uh, up new terminal node app.js. As you can see over here, your uh, your app has been started on the route localhost 3000 it may take a while okay so this is what your uh, static website is going to look like when you create it using a rest api or an endpoint somewhat like this right so this is basically the data for example the description is this description the heading is this heading as you can see over here I'll just show you welcome to about page as you can see over here Oops. and uh, if you are if you have noticed your footer and header you just navigate to the footer section as you can see marketing plaza san francisco as you can see over here in the footer section right so this entire website is created using the 
REST API endpoints, which I'm going to use in the future videos uh, for creating this exact, exact app using Express and uh, Nunjux as a templating engine, engine, right? So for that, you need to have a basic knowledge of Node.js. So, yeah, this was it for this video. So summarizing the entire video, uh, we have created a REST API endpoints or service or infrastructure using uh, Mockable.io. Uh, it is not entirely a free service, but you can definitely use uh, for trial purpose. And if you like it, you can either purchase it and use it for your extensive projects. And uh, you can either create a get post uh, put or delete endpoint and make sure you have uh, downloaded the downloaded the data and uh, perform this uh, uh, url endpoints creation procedure whatever you need to call it as because we are going to use these endpoints which is this to create an app like this and furthermore we'll be uh, enhancing that image into a blog kind of a a website where you can dynamically add data where you can see multiple blogs over here and uh, um, it will have a dynamic URLs and sections like that so you can either also test this using postman so one of the application for testing rest api's or api's in general is uh, postman so you can download Postman. It's a free application for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And uh, you can just Google it and download for your specific OS. Mine is uh, Linux. So let's just hit this URL. As you can see, get request. You can select your request over here. Get and let's hit a send. So you can see the same response is available. You can see it over here, right? So you can use uh, Postman for this. And uh, I'll just put the description of the Postman download link in the description so you can get it based on your own OS. Yep. Now over here you can see four running right so we have four mocks and four URL endpoints running and active. So make sure you have this set up because we are going to use these endpoints to create our app which is this. So this was it for this video guys and uh, thanks for watching.